Okay, I get a lot of people say to me, Kyle, why do you use those shitty little Canadian tire inverters? And I get a lot of people saying, why do you use CFL so much? You know, I, if you look at my experiments, I don't have a lot of LED experiments. And don't get me wrong, I like LEDs. But this is why, okay? This is a UPS battery bank. And right now it's running in it. A 75 watt inverter that you can get at Canadian Tire on sale for less than ten dollars. Now its regular price is ridiculous. I would never pay its regular price, but they go on sale for about nine dollars and ninety nine cents. This light bulb, these are the ones I go with. Okay, Enter Saver, a Walmart product. They have a plastic coating so that if you break the light bulb it doesn't go everywhere you can see a little logo there All right. here's the ratings okay 23 watts 1400 lumens if you look up the lumens that a 100 watt light bulb kicks out in an ideal world I think it's something like 1700 so it's pretty close. Um, typically it uses 23 watts. If you look at the actual current ratings, um, it actually gives a milliamp somewhere too. Hmm. Hexavalent chromium. Mm. Biphenyls, lead, mercury, lovely. Um, no, uh, it did actually say the number of milliamps that it uses under um, 120 volts. Yeah, there it is. Uh, well, I found it in French. Isn't that funny? Anyway, it's, it says caution, do not use for a dimmer. Do not use with a dimmer. Okay. Anyway, it did actually say the number of milliamps on 120, but that's really not too important. As you can see, my battery is sitting at 12.48. My ohm meter. is about 1.5678 I would say 1.87 at 12.48 volts okay and the lights kick ass all right mega lumens so here I have a little system like this that's um, what is it? You know, in an ideal world, if they weren't reconditioned batteries, if they were brand new, but these have been reconditioned. But in an ideal world, those would be 28 amp hours with a 2 amp load. So you could run this a good long time. You know? So yeah, and then the other relevant factor is, is that Initially I had bought one of these things and I thought it was pretty bad. But it was. The one I bought was pretty bad. There's your no load current. It's less than 100 milliamps. And they're quick and dirty to pull out. Unplug, I mean. If you load them to about 60% uh, they're not bad in terms of efficiency. So anyway, that's that. So I'll show it to you. And the relevant factor here for oh, I should add for me is price. Okay? Those batteries were free. 
The rest was scrounged. The inverter's nine bucks, and the bulb's nine bucks. So, if you don't charge the solar charge control, if you don't count the solar charge controller for these batteries, um, but you can get a much better one for fourteen dollars. So let's say you did that. Um, this whole box is worth thirty-five bucks. And you, you you get the batteries out of UPS. I can get literally thousands of these things a year. And I've used this extensively to watch movies. And, you know, I could watch a movie on this on a charge, no problem. Um, provide light all night long on this thing. Anyway, that's why I do it. Because, you know what, for the money... In my opinion, in some situations, CFL works pretty good. And I like the light. I like the fact that when I look at a CFL bulb, I don't turn around and look somewhere else and get artifacts in my vision. And granted, you know, some there's some pretty nice warm white LEDs out there right now. But the switching circuits in the bulbs are not always as good as these in terms of efficiency. Alright, thanks for watching.